welcome to the show. My name is Ron, and I'm the host of this show. And it's my pleasure to bring you a devotional that hopefully, hopefully leads to do a meditation. Okay, in tonight's show, we got <clears throat> the story of Samson. We're going to start in chapter 16. But the uh, whole story of Samson goes from chapter 13, 14, and 15, and then ends with chapter 16. And verse 1 starts off with, One day Samson went to the Philistine town of Gaza and spent the night with a prostitute. Okay. And a little further on down. Sometime later, Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah, who lived in the valley of Sorek. The rulers of the Philistines went to her and said, Entice Samson to tell you what makes him so strong and how he can be overpowered and tied up securely. Then each of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. Okay. Samson's first mistake. I believe he was seriously unequally yoked. The Bible warns us in personal relationships not to be unequally yoked. Have you ever seen a team of horses pulling a wagon? <clears throat> And have you ever seen a Clydesdale and a Shetland pony together in a yoke? No, you haven't, because it doesn't work. And here, I believe we find Samson being yoked with a woman who does not share his faith. If she did, I don't think she would have sold him out. Mistake number one. So, let's carry on. So Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, what makes you so strong and what it would take to tie you up securely? Samson replied, If I were tied up with seven new bowstrings that have not yet been dried, I would become as weak as anyone else. So that night she ties him up. Philistines come. He breaks the breaks the strings, he's still got his strength. Then a second time happens. Samson replied, if I were tied up with brand new ropes that had never been used, I would become as weak as anyone else. So that night, she ties, Delilah ties him up with the seven new ropes. Philistines come. Samson still has his strength third time happens. Samson replied, if you were to weave the seven braids of my hair into the fabric on your loom and tighten it with the loom shuttle, I would become as weak as anyone else. That night she does that very thing. Philistines come, he breaks free. All of all is good. He still has his strength. Let's carry on. <clears throat> then Delilah pouted. How can you tell me I love you when you don't share your secrets with me? You've made fun of me three times now, and you still haven't told me what makes you so strong. She tormented him with her nagging day after day until he was sick to death of it. <clears throat> and then he finally broke down and told her that his hair couldn't be cut. And then Samson gets captured. And that's his downfall.
So the second thing that Samson did wrong is he took his oath to God very lightly. You can't dabble with sin and not get caught up in it. You can't just sin a little bit. It just leads it just leads you deeper down the hole. The solution? Stay in God's word. Stay in a devotional. Praise the Lord for what he's given you. Be, be happy. <laughs> Proverbs 17, 22 tells us a merry, a cheerful heart is like a good medicine. But, 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 but a broken spirit dries up the bones. <laughs> Stay in the word. And, yeah, you all have a great night. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. And the word for this week is still enigmatic. Take care.